Hi, and welcome to the latest segment of ComNet TV, where we're going to show you how easy it is to install a wireless Ethernet system. It's called PowerPoint and Play, and it's only from ComNet. This is the NetWave NWK7 wireless kit, and because it's a kit, that means it has everything you need for installation, and it's pre-configured, which means the MAC addresses are locked to each other. Once you power the radios up, they're already going to be looking for each other. Now, it's built with an IP67 enclosure, which means it's great for outdoor use. It has a maximum throughput of 240 megabits per second, which means you can get 120 megs of full duplex, or you can push around that bandwidth in either direction to accommodate your needs. It's also capable of over two miles of transmission in good RF conditions. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to simulate the actual installation of the NWK7. We're going to try to get a remote camera, let's say in the back of a parking lot, send it over that wireless link to the AP or access point and get it onto the network. To get started, we're going to take a look at our two boxes and we're going to select the box that says AP or access point because that's essentially your receive location. Inside that box is again everything you need. Now we have documentation, a CD with instruction manuals and other product information. We have our included power injection module if you're not going to be using the PoE aspect of the radio. And then we have a mounting bracket that is really oriented towards pole mounting. In this case, since we're on the exterior of a simulated building, we are using our optional mounting bracket, which is better for wall mounting. Here we also have our indoor Ethernet switch, in this case a small ComNet 8-port uh, PoE switch. And you can see I have my patch cable coming from my network, and I have my gland uh, pieces already attached to my Ethernet cable. All I need to do is plug that into port number one. On the back of the unit, you can see green LED for power and some other flashing LEDs which are doing diagnostics. I wait until I see a solid green LED for power while I connect all of my gland pieces here. And then my next step is really just pointing the wireless radio towards where that remote location is going to be at the camera side. And then we can go out and start to install that. Now we're outside at the remote camera location ready to install the client radio. So we've taken our box labeled client uh, and has the same contents as the other box in it. In this case we're actually using the included pole mounted bracket. So also we have our remote camera and we have a hardened PoE Ethernet switch which would allow you to connect multiple devices and or cameras to connect over that single wireless radio bridge. Now something I haven't mentioned yet about the NWK7 product is that it actually has two gigabit Ethernet ports on it. One is a PoE in and one is a PoE out. So what that allows us to do during installation is take a PoE source which can be an injector or in this case a PoE switch, take our patch cable, connect it to our radio, and that's going to supply the power. You can see our LEDs doing diagnostics. I'll connect our glands here as that goes through that process. Uh, eventually we're going to get a solid power, so we know we're good there. Now to connect uh, other devices, we can do a couple different things. We can connect all of our remote devices to this PoE switch, which will then communicate Ethernet up to this radio and send all that data. But what we can also do is take a PoE camera connect our patch cable to that, and now connect that patch cable directly from the camera right to our wireless radio. So what's happening with PoE right now is that the PoE switch is supplying PoE up to the radio, powering that radio, which takes about four and a half watts, and then it's passing all of the leftover PoE out port number two and thus up to our camera, powering the camera. So if you can, you can power with 15 watts or 30 watts, and whatever's left over after that four and a half watts from the radio, it's gonna power that camera. Okay, so it could be a nice, uh, tidy installation, not evidenced by my cable management here for this demonstration, but you can see that now the camera has power, the radio has power. Really our last thing to do here is point that client radio at the AP until we get enough green LED status lights for strength and then we're good to go. Power, point, and play. Hopefully this demonstration shows you just how incredibly easy it is to get a wireless Ethernet link up and running. Power, point, and play only from ComNet.
and don't forget to call us for all your transmission needs. Thank you.